What's up, all you action figure enthusiasts and toy collectors out there? It's time for Alternate Heads, the toy talking podcast. We're back. I know it looked, it was a little bit, but I had to take a vacation. It was an emergency, it was an emergency vacation to the beach, to the, to the warm, sandy beaches of Galveston, Texas, which I, I was actually stationed out in Corpus Christi for years. That beach kind of sucks, but you know what? I had a good time with the family. Nice. Didn't find any toys down there. Do you check? Of course I do. So you gotta, you gotta check them like out of the way of Walmarts and Targets because they, they're, they're the only ones that have like gyms in them, you know, and no toy collectors in that area. And then you would like, I did find like a couple of like Black Series figures that I was like, oh, they uh, they don't typically have those like in our stores up here, but I didn't get anything. Mm. I found one thing, I, it was something for a friend, so you know, that's that's more. Who'd you get for your oh, friend? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's for Nate, you know, they're the co-host. Um, but it was the uh, Justice League Flash. Oh, nice. Apparently the Flashes are hard to find, but uh, uh, the Batmans are like a Walmart exclusive. Really? But I also saw a picture that I'll, I'll post up into the chat of uh, when they get the Batman at the Walmarts, don't worry, they will be plentiful. So, so he's trying to do the he's Snyder to do, yeah, Justice the League? Snyder. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And I'm, you know, I'm not a big McFarlane guy, you know, but I, I, I see one of us. Um, oh, yeah, today. Of course, before we do the show, we always like, oh, let's just stop at a couple of places here and there. Oh, man, why is my camera all uh, screwed up again? <laughs> anyway, but we always stop a couple of places to see, you know, I got to see what the finds are. Um, I didn't find anything. Sean did. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've got this uh, Batman Beyond today. Yeah, I gotta say, that figure is uh, sought after. I've seen in some of the collections. Well, Batman Beyond's such a cool character. There you go, that looks better. I was adjusting my uh, exposure on my camera. Yeah, and I mean, I love Batman Beyond. It's one of my favorite cartoons, but um, it's a Todd figure. I do like it comes with a stand. And <laughs> you use it as such a pejorative. <laughs> is a, you know, you're like, oh, you know. It's, it's a Todd figure. Yeah. But you know what? It's nice, but... We both have that one glaring thing. They could have made that cape detachable. Yeah. Yeah. And it pins in so nicely to the back of the forearm. There's a little peg there. I like that. But you could have also just made the back come off. That's disappointing. But, I mean, you get, you know, two blast accessories, different hands, a battle ring, and a stand. 20 bucks. Well, GameStop markup. But Mm -hmm. roughly the $20 MSRP. Yeah. It's a cool figure. Like I said earlier, well, we were talking, and I was like, you know what? This is cool, but a translucent blue one would be cooler. You want the invisible, the invisible Terry? Well, is that what it was? I just remember. Well, he would, yeah, he would cloak. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah he did it all I just time. I had the figure when I was little, and I was like, that's such a cool. And yes, that uh, you you're messing around with that Master Chief. Now I reviewed that figure on the channel, and I gave it a bad review because. Between me and Nate, we had purchased four of those, and the arms were loose on four of them. But a friend of the show said, hey, I've got one that's good. Let me send it to you. And I was like, sure. Granted, um, I complained to the company that I thought that figure was garbage, and they wanted to send me another. And I was like, no, I'm good. Don't. Because wow. I, I love Halo, and I wanted a good Master Chief, but I started up turning around. I was like, I'm throwing this one in the garbage can. And don't send me another one of these. I know it was harsh, but you know what? That was after I had seen four with the same issue. I was like, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm done. But yes, yeah, I was like, oh, let, give it to me one more shot. I've got one that's, and yes, the joints on that one, they're they're okay. It's good. It's like, a, I mean, it's a sturdy, it's a cool figure. It fits in perfectly with the uh, the scale that we collect. So the one got the chrome on the mask. The chrome on the mask is, is nice. nice. And I said things like that in the review, but yeah. if he can't hold up his weapon. It's pointless. Mm-hmm. I'm not interested if you can't hold his damn guns. You know, it's kind of like the main draw of that figure for me. It's Master Chief. It's guns. So as long as we're getting into the new new additions, uh, one that we both kind of um, well, okay, we'll go we'll go there since you picked it up. I did find the villains wave. This is a pretty good wave. I hate that they reuse the body for Red Skull and Dormammu in the same wave. That's the same baggy suit on both of them. Mm. The arcade, arcade is just such a shit. 
But I, I, the character, he is. He is. I'm waiting for Wolverine to gut this dude. Like, Arcade's whole thing is, ha-ha, you survived my game, but this is a robot or a recording or a hologram or something. I am nowhere near that. Ah, man, let, let Wolverine catch up. Catch Arcade just one day. Just one day. <laughs> Gun him like a fish. The Scientist Supreme, eh. May have I had more AIM soldiers. I do have MODOK up there, so I guess it'll look good up next to him. Oh, he doesn't have his iPad on him, does he? Oh, uh, it's somewhere on the table over there. But uh, reviews will be coming up for that. The Doom. The Doom is nice with his, you know, Thanos spine accessory. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but the Death Strike. I love the Death Strike. It was about time that that figure got redone. I, I like it. I like She's it. really good. The Hood. The Hood is garbage. Um, oh, boy. Yeah, we talked about that yeah, last episode. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we had him. Um also, the She-Hulk, the Marvel Legends She-Hulk in green. We previously got this figure in gray with a bunch of, like, bleeding, glowing green on her, which, eh. So, was she an individual release? Like, not a... But she uh... was in that Fantastic Four wave. I mean, the gray one was. But, yes, that one was an individual release. Mm. And it actually came with the other raging head that we got with the other She-Hulk, but in her proper green colors. And, um, it's okay. I mean, I like She-Hulk. I like whenever they do it right they did it right with that character so eh okay uh the zenmu though build a figure wow they are just getting their money's worth out of that uh goliath wendigo mold aren't they yeah there's a you got the at least four of them like that huh there's been some reuse on that mold they're they're getting it, <laughs> they're getting their, their money's worth out of it but the zenmu's nice it's not my favorite character honestly I, I've seen him maybe a couple times in the comics. I'm like, who the hell is this dude? But hey, the Hulk's going to beat him down. The stuff on his hands is cool. I hadn't seen that. Yeah. He's, he's got like uh, buttons and a barcode, something going yeah, on. something going on. I don't yeah. know what it, that is, but it's cool. It's okay. Uh, Transformers wise, I did pick up Leader Class Galvatron and Ultra Magnus. And those are nice. I had to fix the shoulders on Galvatron. And guys, if you get those Galvatrons and they're, the shoulders are upside down, there is a way to fix them. Or what you could do is just fix them. Well, before you fix them, take a picture of them messed up and send it to Hasbro and say, hey, this figure is misaligned and get you a free figure out of it. Or when they offer to give you the free figure, you can tell them that you're just going to throw it in the trash and you don't want it like you did earlier. See, Transformers, I'm willing to do a little bit more. I, guess. I could <laughs> It's but like, I tried to fix the Master Chief. I did, and I couldn't fix it. So, I mean, I, I will go to great lengths to fix figures, okay? I sent it down the head for a U.S. agent to make that thing mm -hmm. proper, okay? If I couldn't do anything with it, I had painted figures before. There's lightning collection figures over there that had just white, one-color morphers that I painted detail on their morphers, dude. So I'm willing to go to great lengths to fix a figure. But I couldn't do anything with the Master Chief's hat. But anyway, I've got one that's good. That's fine. And yes, I fixed the Galvatron. You basically got to unscrew a couple things, unpin the shoulders, flip them, and then pin them back in. The Ultra Magnus is fine. Uh, but I think the prize winner for this week's pickups are the ones that you have in your hand right there. That new Masters of the Universe Revelation Skele God. Yeah. With a power sword, he's got an energy effect, cloth goods, cape. It is a big old figure, man. It's cool. I love the look of it. The translucent, uh, like, flames under the neck or mm -hmm. something. The green, it's just a solid figure. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, two alternate hands, energy effect sword. I got everything there. But the other prize winner, and these go fast, is that battle cat right there. Holy, holy damn, man. It is a big old chunky cat. His his mask doesn't stay on very well, but he just gotta kind of push it down. It easily moves, but man, we're talking joints for days. All over the thing, he's big, he's beefy. Two straps on now. The saddle is a bit soft, but I think it's more to play to the uh, posability of the figure, which it is plentiful on there. You, you know, you can take that off. You got the cringer head and everything. I just need a He Man. To ride him into battle. I think it looks great. I think it looks... It, I mean, we had the Masters of the Universe class. I had the Masters of the Universe Classics Battle Cat. And that was a big old figure. But this was just a little... I wish I still had him to compare him. But I thought I'd buy the Origins one just to have something to compare him to. But I'm like, no. I'll just, I'll be, I'll be. But yeah, he's like 14 inches long. It's a big old cat. and Yeah. I like they call him a kind of a lighter green too. But 
Now we just got to find those He-Man figures. They're we starting looked. to starting to pop up. <clears throat> we looked before we started the show. Went over to um, um, Walmart is where the mainline figures are supposed to be popping up at. So I still look dark. What the hell? Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, I think that's all the pickups for this week. Just uh, waiting on some pre-orders to fill to fill so I can. Um, I'm looking for the uh, Bad Batch uh, Wrecker right now. I'll bring my brightness and contrast a little bit. There we go. Maybe less brightness. And I know I should have all this done like before the show, but there we go. I think the sun went down or something. That's why I was like beaming in there. I'm not used to doing this in my... Anyway, so yeah, there's the pickups for this week. Uh, but what are we talking about this week, Sean? Well, you know, earlier we were talking about the translucent... Uh, Batman Beyond. Uh, uh-huh. Did you, you see the uh, translucent Miles Morales that they announced this week? Or oh yeah, earlier? yeah. The uh, I guess we do want to talk about some of those Hasbro events. Yeah, I hate that we got this figure before we got one that's fully painted because it's clearly the new Miles costume. Well, from the game underneath there, and I don't like that, man. <laughs> It, it's cool. I love I love translucent figures. I mean, like I know translucent, you... glow in the dark, and chrome. Those are like the three weaknesses of figures for me. And look, I, I don't have any doubt that we will eventually get him in full color, but I wanted that one now. You know, it looks it looks good. He's got the uh, energy effect. It looks like he's gonna have a separate energy effect hands, which those will probably come with the regular miles in that same color. But yeah, why did you why did you release this figure translucent first? I don't know. It looks cool. It looks cool. I, I'm hype about it. He looks a little tall. His legs look really long. Um, to me, and the you might mm, if you look at the packaging, like the bottom of his feet are like right at the line of the where the the window starts. Okay. So maybe I don't know. I, I honestly don't know if I'll be getting this one. Mm. I, I don't know. I want. I want him. Yeah, I'm gonna get it because I'm because I'm a weak weak person. Anyway, but I, I I I need this in the game colors though. Please please go ahead and paint this figure for me. Don't make me be up in here painting some translucent figure. I'm sure it'll come, but it hasn't. Uh, when this the the original Spider-Man game came out, they were pretty quick to release the costume. We got oh, yeah, three the, of those. Uh, yeah yeah. And I like that costume too. I mean, I have it up there, so you know. Clearly, I like something about it. But along with, as long as we're staying on Marvel Legends, we did get another announcement for a new Loki figure, and it's going to be Sylvie with her sword. And this brought some great debate among us. Like, is this going to be another Disney Plus wave? Who's going to go in it? I mean, the Sylvie looks good. I'm loving Sylvie. Yeah, she's I saw cool. I saw a, a cartoon where it was uh, Thor holding her up, like. And he goes, another! <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was adorable. That was some, somebody else. But still, yeah, Sylvie getting her first figure out quickly. I like it. And I'm Mobius loving an actress. As well. Yeah, no, she's good. Yeah, And Mobius. So we at least have two announced for a possible second Disney Plus wave. Just when will it be? Who knows? Yeah. Well, uh, I feel like we got to have a Venom wave coming soon. Mm, considering that Venom only got you talk about movie Venom. Well, I mean, like, what? Well, look, yeah, movie Venom wave, but it'll be like one movie, two. I mean, you get Venom and Carnage from the movie, and then. Well, sp- speaking of Venom, though, let's talk about that animated series Venom that they're releasing. Did you not see this? Oh, I got him. What is I it? I got him. It's a. Uh, it's a uh, another Venom. Actually, and. Uh, Oh, I'm going to go ahead and plug this because you can also find that on our new website, supercoolnerdshow.com because I did a write-up on this new Spider-Man Far From Home wave. Um, You know what? I think I will just go to our website to to look at those figures that I I, I did that write-up on. So let's go ahead and talk about those then, man. So we are getting a No Way Way Home wave. Uh, the first figure, of course, is going to be as Spider-Man. 
He's got a new costume. Looks kind of like his Iron Spider design a little bit. Kind of like a mix between the suit from Far From Home and his Iron Spider suit. And I dig it. Looks pretty cool. But then we also saw the inclusion of a full-on black suit with gold in the webs and like red accents on the hands. Another stealth suit? or I what? heard somebody say maybe that's Miles. And I thought that was a pretty interesting... No, because they didn't announce it as... It wasn't announced as Miles. Oh. So I think this is strictly... This is just another Peter Parker figure. I don't know. Maybe there's some tech in the suit that makes it turn into other things. Maybe. Because it does, you know, the Iron Spider suit did have a couple things in it. And so, you know, perhaps maybe it's nanotechnology like, like Tony's last suit was. Following in the steps of his mentor. Uh, the Doctor Strange figure. Possibly the best Doctor Strange figure we've seen so far. Face sculpt is on. The cape looks, cool. looks good. Uh, got the eye of Agamotto and everything. And he's actually finally got the correct disc for the hands. You know, because he would always... And then, like, the two glowing discs would appear. So they finally got that right. But, of course, the star this way. J.K. Simmons. Yeah. Making his action figure debut good. as J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, I mean, from what we saw at the end of uh, Far From Home. But, and we were saying this, and I was like, hey, hey Hasbro, if you're cool, if and I, I know you're cool, you would put a J.K. Simmons head in there from the other Spider-Man movies. I'm just saying, you should do that. You should do that. Just, just dropping that in there. Just at least, an extra head. At least Hasbro does that because uh, McFarlane, they don't do that. They just say, hey, no, you want the extra head? It's a different figure. And then they say... Okay, what do, you, what do they do that on that, you're, you're McFar- that you just suddenly threw in McFarlane there? Like uh, Unmasked Batman recently. Oh, okay. The bus was coming. He had to throw throw old Todd underneath there. All right. <laughs> but we, okay. You brought up Venom, the animated well, that's, series and that's Venom. Only, by the way, that's only four figures out of that wave. We don't know who else is in that wave. Could be comic. I know they did announce um, another Sandman, but it was off the Hydro Man body mold. And I don't know if I like that. Hopefully we get a new Green Goblin. I know we got, I got the Sandman over there that was a build a figure and he is a little bit larger than everybody, but I don't know if I needed I don't honestly don't think I'll be picking up that Sandman just because I don't need another one out. The think. animated series Sandman? Yeah, I don't know if I need that one. We'll I mean, see. I don't I mean I think the build a figure is definitely superior. Yeah. And he came with a different hand attachments. Of course he does. He has a one like the sand hole in the head thing, but ooh, yeah. I think I, I think that 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 one was nailed with the BAF, but I don't think anybody's ever looked at that build a figure and said, "I wish this was smaller." But or, it's nice that it's being re-released and yeah, with the animated series packaging, it's cool. Of and, course, it's harder to get build a figures, especially after the fact. Mm-hmm. So, uh, also, we are getting a Venom with two different heads. Got the tongue hanging out and the tongue not hanging out, but he's got that weird red and blue cell shading thing that they did in Spider-Man: The Animated Series. Yeah. And he's got he's got lips. The animated series Venom had lips and it always like creeped me out a little bit. Like they were pronounced and they were there like yeah and they were like pointed. I don't know. But we're getting two separate heads and we got that weird paint job on. You there. like this figure? No, I don't need this figure. I don't like this figure and I'm really upset with it. I'm like I was so upset on so many levels looking at this figure. And you know me, like I love Venom. That's exactly the reason I'm making this face here. The pros, Hold up. The, the pros are the Omega Red chest sculpt that they're using for that looks really cool. Okay. But then they cheaped out, and he's got the hole still. Did you notice that? I did notice that. So they're just <laughs> they're not even filling them, or like give us some ten- tentacles to put in there, and I don't know something. But it just, I mean. Plus, you're buying a $30 figure, and they can't even fix some holes. So, okay. And then the tongue, to me, looks terrible. Because he's got, like, a split tongue, like a snake tongue. Oh, yeah, he does. And, like, I don't know. Maybe it was like that in the show, but I, it's not a good look. I don't remember, because they didn't have him with the tongue a lot in the show. Like, only, like, a certain time. Also, the, I the never way remember Venom. The way like they've painted the lips on here, it just looks like he's wearing blue and red lipstick. <laughs> that is, like, to me, I see this figure, and I... And no, 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 no. 
Please, no, 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 no. Because this is like the thing I hate most about NECA is when they, when they just repaint figures with this like cell shaded tones. Well, this looks like a different head sculpt, definitely, because he's got the lips. I don't know. It's just, it's bothering me. It looks like some Harley Quinn makeup crap. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah, the red and the blue, like, I can, s I don't know, man. I'm not feeling it either. I'm just yeah. not. But, I mean, uh, I don't think that's all the Marvel Legends news that we have. Uh, didn't we get, like, something else announced? Oh, we did see our first San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. What was that? It's the MODOK World Domin... Actually, not Comic-Con. Oh. The PulseCon exclusive. I'm sorry. Yeah. And it's going to be a MODOK, but... Uh, and you would have had to have read... Uh, read um, uh, I forget what comic that was from. Like Next Wave or it something. Was next like wave. That, it was yeah. Next Wave. It was Next Wave. And it's got the captain in there and the Modoc with the microphone and Elvis hairdo. And he's got the the big jeweled shades. His face even has a like a watch. Like, shooting like, hamburgers. And he's and... shooting hamburgers. I don't need this. Well, I mean, I can see some people needing that next wave figure. I don't need the next wave figure that much. Yeah. Not at the price of a Modoc. Yeah, yeah, I don't need this, and I think if I wanted it though, it would be readily available. But hey, you know what? They, somebody wants this out there. It's not me. <laughs> yeah, this goes into our. We were having a discussion in the car earlier today. Like, what is the goes into the character selection for yeah. Marvel Legends? And this is like, who there was like, we need to make the Elvis version of Modok. Like, I don't know. Oh Lord, have mercy. Anyway, yeah, I think that's got all the Marvel Legends stuff that we want to talk about. Do you want to bring up uh, your boys over here? Get your boys. Super 7? Yeah, uh, see, he knew what I was talking about. Super 7 has debuted their ultimate Power Rangers wave, one. And um, I got to know what you think. I want to know if this is like, you, are you not in? You don't think that Goldar looks cool? Okay. Because the gold R looks cool. Okay. First off, I will get the gold R. Okay. And I will get the T-Rex. I don't want the figures, though. Okay. I don't... I feel as though we got Mezco coming out with Power Rangers. They made their Green Ranger. And I don't need 7-inch Power Rangers. Although I do like that the yellow Ranger came with heads from uh, Trini and... Um, not Tanya. Um, Tanya was the second yellow ranger um i can't think of her name but the second yellow ranger um i do like that they did that but i don't need another wave of power rangers the t-rex i love the t-rex it's pretty cool it right it's good and i'll get that i think it's going to be a little bit bigger than the figures too which mm -hmm. that's cool with me the goldar i think would fit better on my shelf over there although that, now that i look at my goldar over there it's it's holding it down it is, but a bigger he'll be bigger. I know. And more detailed. The gold R, I saw that and I was like, you know what? That's pretty cool. Mm. But you know, Hasbro's been pretty competitive. Like the eye guy that they released. Oh, we can get to Power Rangers we're, next. Yeah, yeah we're I mean we're kinda of Power monsters. Ranger stuff. Uh, we're going we're getting eye guy. I this is cool figure yeah that is the one that um what's his name cranston from um da what's his what's his first name cranston from uh breaking bad brian cranston brian cranston he voiced that character really yep in the old school power rangers he voiced that character hmm. so that was the character he voiced but um i like the eye guy i'm getting i'm getting those it's that's a gimme uh also another story that i covered on supercoolnerdshow.com make sure you go over and check it out i'm just gonna love doing that just every chance I get, pull out of the website. So, yeah, we got the Lightning Collection. This is going to be Wave 10. We did get, well, before I get into Wave 10, we get did get the announcement they're going to finally start making Zords from Dino Fury, which is something that this series has been lacking. We're finally getting some, really? some Mecha. Yeah, uh, basically the one up there, the red one with the T-Rex on its chest. The Dino Fury is adapted from... Oh, uh, so they're making Zords, but they're not starting with, like, the regular... No, no, they're making it from the current series. And these are typical on the shelf. We see these for like the 10 and up crowd. But it'll be that guy up there with the dinosaur head on his chest. Ryu Soldier is what it's adapted from. 
But yeah, they're finally making the Megazords. They did say COVID was a big factor in delaying these to the shelves, but we will get the base three Zords to make that mecha up there, and that's kind of cool. The base three? What, like, you got to buy them separately? Uh, if you buy one, the T-Rex Zord, you can actually make the mecha. The beautiful thing about, well, not beautiful thing, but the thing about this series, it was Lego-based. So you can, like, connect and connect. I mean, connect figure pieces all over them. Mm. Which, kind of cool. Um, and um, you can get, like, the blue, the purple, I mean, the blue, the pink, and the red. And then I guess green and black will be coming somewhere down the line. Um, they do come separate. They do. They are bought separately, though. Um, but, yeah, Zord's finally coming to the line. That's cool. That's huge. Yeah. It, it's, it's something that I was like, why haven't we done this now? Because... Yeah. Uh, but you know, hey, COVID is a problem still, so you know, uh, we're getting caught up to everything. And um, so, but moving on, we did get the Lightning Collection Wave 10 announced, and I think it's a solid wave. I've said with the last three waves of Power Rangers that they finally hit their stride on what these figures need to have in the box. You know, like signature weapons, sidearms, energy effect, portrait head, boom. You know, so first one, uh, Phantom Ranger. Phantom Ranger, we never saw his face, so boom, you don't have to do like a, a separate portrait for that. Uh, two energy effects, his weapon. I I actually like the Shadow... I'm sorry, Phantom Ranger. Um, so, good addition for that. He looks team. awesome. Yeah, always look good. And he actually can... He can be in, in either in space or turbo. So, they have said that they're not going to be starting up any more teams until they finish off a couple more. Oh, good. Okay. And that's exactly what this wave is going to accomplish because the next figure out of that is going to be in space pink ranger cassie chan uh new energy effect for her and that's going to bring our in space count up to four um next up we're getting dino charge green that's going to bring our collect that's going to bring that number up to four as well and then also uh zeo yellow which will bring our uh, Zeo Rangers up to five, and we know that Pink Zeo is on the horizon as a GameStop exclusive, so that team will be completed. Yep, there we go. Um, <laughs> so I, before we move off of Power Rangers, I think the one thing that Super 7 really shines in is their character selection. Okay. And they will choose sometimes more like characters that haven't been maybe made before or that need to be made so as a power ranger fan what figures do you want to see from them in wave two no, and three I don't, no no don't drag me into this no this is i mean look because like it's a weird thing like how do they how how do they stay competitive in this space like especially when they're remaking a line that's available for twenty dollars and they're making fifty dollar figures so like that's a good point actually yeah like i mean i look at this wave and i'm like it'd be cool to see them make lord zed from super seven look i mean having owned super seven now i kind of appreciate the, the posability that i'm afforded with other figures i know they do single joints and everything i just kind of mm, you know yeah because they they're expensive i mean like oh if, yeah this it, we were looking at the super seven figures in target today and, yeah, uh, we, we, we took a little trip to Target, by the way, and uh, seventeen ninety nine for the reaction figures. Are you and, out of your damn mind, Super Seven? And they're nine ninety nine for the Marvel versions, right? You. So in that same aisle, mm -hmm. you have people, and they're like, "Oh, this figure's nine ninety nine. It's Captain America. These are cool." This I see a lot of people getting three point seven five five points of articulation figure. Which, like, it's a cool format. Like, you know, like has a fun figure to have. It's like a McDonald's prize or something. Like it's an old, feel, it's the I'm old Star Wars scale. You can put it with your vintage this, Star Wars collection, dude. How are you gonna How are you gonna justify eighteen dollars for this thing, though? But that's the, how they justify it is. Is like okay, well you can get the Marvel ones for ten bucks, but if you want like the turtles ones or the mm -hmm. you know the Transformers, they do do the Transformers as well. Yeah, so they offer. So what I mean, like. I guy is a cool character pick. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if you were pitching Super Seven for waves two and three for the one slot that's like a big monster, because obviously the next ones are gonna be the next they're gonna, they're gonna go and do more Rangers and they're gonna do more Zords. Okay. So okay, first pick. Let's if if I gotta do this, you need to pick a monster <laughs> that Hasbro hasn't made. 
Because yeah. their monsters are actually a larger scale than the figures. Mm -hmm. Even though people ask, people don't, they don't like those bigger figures either. They say they're too big for the Lightning Collection line. Really? They don't like, they don't like them? They that... say they're too big. But I say you need, you're going to have to pick a monster. I think they're just fine, my, personally. But you need to pick a monster that they haven't made within Power Range. I think they need to do the the pig creature that looks like a gladiator that's like wearing a gladiator helmet. I think you should do that one. Has Hasbro made that? Hasbro has not made that one. They made it in the original line. Um, but um Okay. Yeah, that uh, is a classic one. So that's what you need to do. And also, like for guys like me, make another Zord. And honestly, you should just go all out. Put the Dragon Zord in that line. That should be your next one. And I don't care about the Rangers in this line. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I'm not even interested at all. You don't like the chrome Green Ranger vest? Nope. Mm -mm. I am staying far away from this line. Because it's like you, it's, it's like you said. These figures come at a higher price point. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting, I'm getting the job done with the Lightning Collection figures. Yeah. So I kind of like, I mean, I questioned it when Mezco released uh, said they were releasing a green ranger i was like okay that's cool but i mean i could under, maybe you think having, the market is i mean I, uh... I could see maybe having a mezco of a green ranger because it's a cloth uniform it's mezco is like a different kind of quality that i appreciate uh-huh but the super sevens are just like single jointed figures yeah it sounds like they need to send you the first wave on house so to I mean, yeah, try and convince you, you to yeah, jump in. Yeah, try it. Try and convince <laughs> me. But for now, it's like you're treading ground that's already been done by Hasbro. Especially since they've already completed the MMPR team. There they are up there and all yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, and there's no, there's not really that much complaints from that team. It's a great, the, the figures are great and... The head sculpts could be better for the portraits. But other than that, they're actually okay. Yeah, that is kind of the, that, well, I could see that, that's a good point. So, the Super 7 figures come with like three different heads, mm -hmm. the two different. And a butt ton of accessories, but. So. Yeah. But, uh, moving on, since we did say Mezco, Mezco did reveal another G.I. Joe coming to the line, and it's Roadblock. Are you jumping well, on that? Or? I don't want to, but no. I got to say, I like how it looks. Yeah. Comes with a plethora of accessories. Did you get the Destro? I did not get the Destro. Destro's not out yet. Okay. Um, they didn't They didn't put that one up for sale yet? Uh, they put it up for pre-order. Okay, okay. But that's about it. The Roadblock, I mean, it looks like classic Roadblock. That head sculpt is nice. He's got a, two big old honking cannons. Just... Dang, man. I, I'm, I, I don't need this. I don't Who, need this at all. Who's going to be first? Hasbro or Mezco to release Cobra Commander with the cloth mask? I think it'll be Hasbro, actually. Yeah? I think we'll see the hooded uh, Cobra Commander. Now, when Mezco makes a Snake Eyes, I'll let you boy. I will buy all of the Snake Eyes twice over. Yeah? I will do that. I am that bad. I will do that. So, you know, bring it on. But the roadblock does look good. I love the camo shirt, the the harness. They made a better looking roadblock than Hasbro's roadblock. And you know, no, I, I mean, I like Hasbro's roadblock. But they they totally went different from what that character is with the beard and this whole thing. You know, mm -hmm. and a big old zap laser gun instead of his Madus yeah. 50 cal. So, I mean... Looks good. I, I don't know if I'm in it for this roadblock, but I will uh, I will look over a uh, a Snake Eyes when y'all come with it. Just saying. And I gotta say I was wrong regarding a Mezco product that I... What? Yeah, like, one of the early episodes of... During the early episodes of Alternate Heads, I was like, I, I, want, a, I want a Mezco Thanos. Oh, they made one. And they made one, and I'm like, you I don't, don't like want it. that. You don't like it? I don't want it, yeah. I don't know. What do you think about that figure? I've been seeing... I did, and when I, it lights up, it. it looks like I not saw that it. good. I don't need it. I, it was easy... Men's clothes are easy passes for me, and it's <coughs> it's bad because... Um, oh, the Infinity Saga figures are actually starting to show up, by the way. Mm. There's a review up for the Iron Man, and I know the uh, GameStop... Actually, I did pre-order 
the Infinity Saga Thor through GameStop, and it's awaiting fulfillment now. So, oh, okay. So should be pretty soon. But um, Mezco's are easy pass for me. And I was in uh, Dallas Vintage Toys this uh, last Fourth of July. They were having a um, a sale there, and oh, uh, I didn't even mention it. I picked up the Storm Collectibles Axel Stone from. Uh, um, is it over there? He's okay, right here. From, uh, um, I, I was going to say Bare Knuckle, but it's Streets of Rage 4, yeah. And, um, yeah, it's nice, man. I know, and I saw that Jin Kazama, and I almost bought the Jin Kazama, but then I saw this. Three different energy effects, a butt-ton of accessories, and I really like that game, too. I had to get this. I hope they make the rest of these. Just make it, uh, just... But while I was over there, they had a bunch of older Mezcos. One, the Space Ghost. Mm. I have seen that Space Ghost. I really want that one. But they, those older Mezcos, man. They're a little pricey. They, huh? they get a little pricey. They had the Deadpool. They had a couple of the Batman figures. The old, the Captain America, which I really do want that Captain America. But, oh, uh, man, they just go for so much. Had, had to pass it by for now. But, uh, um... Where we at? Okay, so yeah, moving past Mezco. We uh, got to talk about. I think that's everything that's new this week. That we... Well, we didn't talk about the new Buffy figures. I mean, what's there to talk about? We took. So, uh, I don't know what. The... And you know what? I honestly. Have you bought any of those figures from whatever that company is? A- action? Oh, it's like AXN, but. Yeah. It's action, right? Yeah. Lame. Have I bought any? Have you bought any? Well, I mean, they're loyal subjects. That's loyal subjects. Why do they? So look like the so little weird? ones they were making a while back were really cool. But like, the thing is, like I saw these figures like their first wave. They had uh, the Full Metal Alchemist. They had Ed and. Uh, oh, is that the same one? Alphonse. Yeah, I think that's the same company. And they were, the, Edward was as big as the Alphonse. I was like, so already you don't get scale right. And I've seen a couple of figures from Cowboy Bebop in there. I think they did Naruto. Uh, we saw Napoleon Dynamite and then uh, Buffy and Angel in there. Why do these figures look so cheap? I don't know. I saw the turtle ones. And then they're like, no. the elbow joints is the it look are the same color as nope. the elbow joints. And they don't even paint the... Mm, that's uh, a nope. That's a hard nope. Yeah. I don't know, man. We Okay. Well, I'm going to have to bite, bite the bullet here and buy one of these figures. Just to see, because they look bad. I know they did a Cowboy Bebop. Um, there's a Spike and a Vicious. Maybe I'll get the Spike and just see how bad. But these figures are cheap as hell, man. Hmm. If anybody out there collects these, please comment. and. Like, I've been seeing people... Defend your line, because we we're, we're ripping on it. Buffy fans are excited to have figures. Just because, like, they haven't made Buffy figures in a long time, yeah, they're, so... They're so desperate, they'll take anything. Yeah, yeah, even though... I feel as though that was the marketing campaign for this. Buffy fans are so desperate, they will buy this. Yeah, but the Ninja Turtle, I mean, the Ninja Turtle one is a big question mark, because it's like... Yeah, you fools. There are so many good Ninja Turtles out there being made by other companies. Mm-hmm. And y'all gonna throw this, this shitty hat into the ring. <laughs> y'all don't know who you're messing with here. Yeah. And that's the direct competition for NECA in the <laughs> in the aisle. No. <laughs> I mean, even like the baseline Ninja Turtles, like from the shows when they were going, were better than these. You're talking about the Rise of the Turtles? Yeah, Rise of the Turtles, but even the, the yeah. other ones from the, the TMNT series. Oh, those were really good. They're so much better than whatever these things are. What is this line? Who is this? Uh, what did loyal subjects smoke to think that yeah this is going to be a winner a lot of strange choices and the head sculpts don't help and i'll have i'll have one for next show yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just i, I i've seen it at walmart it'd be cheap i'll get it from there because these figures just look bad you get the napoleon dynamite one no man no no i'm not that that strong in napoleon dynamite <laughs> So, okay. we got to uh, talk about Turtles, because we're in Turtles right now. Okay, so yeah, we do turtles. have some new Turtle stuff that was announced. Uh, the NECA Ultimate Chrome Dome. What do you think? Um, He looks so cool. I mean, I don't get the NECA Cartoon Turtles. I don't need to go down that route. Well, yeah, but, I mean, I don't collect that line, but... But I do like the cell shading on the character. 
He looks huge. It's cool. It is huge. It, yeah. It's clearly, it towers over the shredder. Like, the picture that they have with the shredder, the chrome dome's sitting down. Mm-hmm. And he's still, like, a full torso higher than Shredder, so... How much is this, is that figure? Uh, I don't see a price uh, announced on this. But, you know... Oh, it's 10 inches tall. When we finally get that figure from Super 7, it's gonna be Chrome. So... I mean, when this figure was um, released as a toy, it was Chrome. Yeah, yeah, so I'm... I mean, this one looks cool, and, like, yeah, just the... I mean... If you like that line, I'm sure you're gonna like that figure. And it's coming out mid-August too. Yeah, I don't see anything on price on that, but it is a good-looking fig. Um, I'll give them that. Uh, the other announcement was an Ultimate Foot. Well, no, that uh, Ultimate Foot Soldier is getting the shelves now. Uh, were there any other turtle announcements I missed? I don't see anything on my list here. I don't think so. The, the Chrome Dome was the big one. Uh, let me see. Okay, so uh, oh, by the way, the uh, we did see the new AEW wave out today. Yeah, we and, saw Proud and Powerful, both of them. Okay, first off, Ortiz comes with a chocolate. With the what? He had a shoe. <laughs> the and Ortiz had a shoe, man. Did you see? He had a, we had a blue flip-flop. I didn't see that. Yes, dude. That's hilarious. That's, that's strong right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good-looking wave. Um, let me see. I, I've seen all of them on the shelf. I haven't gotten any of them. I think I'm kind of done with the AEW. I was... Kind of hard. I, I, I wanted to get there. I saw the new, there's a new Cody, new Kenny, uh, Matt Hardy, proud and powerful. Um, and there was a uh, Sammy Guevara. And I passed them up. Um, but they do look good. We did get an announcement for some new ones too. We're getting another, another Jericho, which he's got, a, he's got the title belt. I think, I don't think there was anybody else in the wave. Oh, wait, the Mox, John Moxley figure has the title belt. Um, but, You'll be getting Jericho in his like black and yellow gear with the bandana that he wore and nice. he on the belt. Another Ray Phoenix and Penta in their gold and black. And man, they can reuse the Penta so many times with all the different costumes he's had. Same thing with Phoenix actually, with all the different masks and combinations. Another MJF, uh, he's just got the black and gold tights, no other accessories. Um, uh, Jake Hager. And a Hikaru Shida. Which she looks good. The Shida looks good. Uh, they finally... They, it seems like they were having some problems with the uh, the female head sculpts. I never did see the brandy up close, but I think they got that one. But Rio, they did Rio wrong. Poor Rio. But it looks like with Shida, they, did def, they definitely got the head sculpt uh, right on that one. So, good job. Uh, I can see Shida getting a place over there on the shelf. She actually comes with a title belt, too. Um, other than that, we did get some announcements for the Suicide Squad wave from McFarlane. Everybody's gonna want that King Shark. He's coming as a build a figure and a single carded, mm -hmm. like bloody variant. Oh, is he bloody? I thought he just is. Uh, yeah, he's got. Uh, wait just has different shorts. I thought somebody said that it was bloody, but I could be wrong. I saw I a picture of the bloody it. one, but I wasn't sure. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything new. I think we we've gone over. And then, A, the McFarlane um, buy a separate figure for the other head is in play on that, too. The John Cena one and the Irish Elba. Yeah, I don't like that. It's I don't like, like that at all. Which one do you want? Put the alternate head in the package, man. Yep. Buy two. <laughs> no, I don't like Thank that. Thank you very much. Also, why does the Cena come with a sword instead of, like, his guns? You know, he's got... Peacemaker has guns. I don't know. I'm not... I'm not getting into the McFarlane figures. Look, you got that one over there. But I'm not getting McFarlane's DC wave. I'm just not. Mm -hmm. um, they did do a... I think it's like a Batman Beyond, but it's a girl? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because there's four in, four figures in the Batman Beyond wave. Okay. And uh, to complete whatever this build-a-figure is. And we do have the four Doesn't look loadouts very good. Uh, that we'll be... Featuring for those Super 7 figures, which, man, they have, they have a lot of stuff. Um, other than that... Were we saying I'm, Super 7? Mm -hmm. You said it'll be something about Super 7? Oh, yeah, I'll have, like, the full loadouts of everything that'll be in the packaging. On them. And we did see figure arts for uh, Far From Home Spider-Man and uh, White Suit Black Widow, which I don't do... I can't do figure arts 
for Marvel for uh, Marvel's movies. I just can't. Mm. That's too much money, dude. That's way too much money. Hey, wait a minute. Did you see this translucent, uh, amazing Tamagotchi? Amazing Yamaguchi. The Carnage? 7-Eleven Carnage? <laughs> so, why is a 7-Eleven Carnage? That's where you get him. What? Yeah, he's like in Japan. It's like a 7-Eleven exclusive. I think. I think that's what the, the deal 7-Eleven is. 7-Eleven exclusive and... Okay. I guess. This is new. This for, is new for the me. For Venom 2. Wow. Okay. He looks awesome, though. I, I could have sworn. I mean, you like Carnage. You like the symbiotes. And, uh... Yes. This seems right up your alley, so I guess we gotta go. We gotta go all the way over to Japan to go to Seven Eleven. Hey, okay, I, well I'll be sacrificing. I guess. Stuff. If you're gonna drag me there. If I'm gonna drag him there, <laughs> be trying to hide my luggage or something. <laughs> oh, I was, I was gonna ask you. Um, this is Storm Seven. Uh, Storm Collectibles. Mm-hmm. Question: Did you see um the seamless joints that they're starting to do? Mm-mm. Yeah, I saw the amazing. Share some of these Golden Axe figures. Really? And they like, yeah, the arms. You know they did. Um, they did. Uh, the, they did the the Barbarian and the other. Uh, it's the big, big one. Like I don't know. He comes. Death Adder. With, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that guy has seamless joints. Oh. So I was like, wow. Like, I haven't seen it. I saw they had. They were coming out with the other, with the third character from Golden Axe, Gilius Thunderhead, the axe bearer guy. Um, it's hard for me to pass those up too because I did like that game so much. I was actually playing it on the uh, PlayStation, uh, in one of the free games or whatever. I was like, "Ooh, Golden Axe!" Nice. And I don't have to put quarters in, so cool. I'll go ahead and play it. But those are pretty cool. I, it's kind of hard to pass those up when I see them. But and also they had the uh, Hao Maru from uh, Samurai Showdown uh, in Storm Collectibles at uh, Dallas Vintage Toys. Mm. So it came down. Some choices were made. I had to like I had to look I had to do some side by side looking at the Jin, the Halmaru, and uh, Axel. So yeah, and then ultimately walked with Axel. So yeah, we're good there. All right, we're forty seven minutes into an episode, man. We've gotten pretty far on this stuff. And we gotta talk about the My Hero Academia exclusive. Oh my goodness! How Which you charge twenty dollars for this, Sean? Look, like it's. It's good that they made that figure because you need it. It's great to have on the shelf in the packaging. Like uh, it helps complete that set rather than just not make it. The audacity. And it looks good. I mean, you know the. And then um, oh, and I wanted to talk about. Well, there's a couple more things on my list, but. Kotobukiya. Hmm. They're make they're making um, the Yu Gi Oh. You see these? Like they're making Obelix the Tormentor, Slifer the Sky Dragon, and That's right up your alley. and the Wing Dragon of Raw. Yeah, they're pretty expensive, but they look cool. Oh well, of course they are. And uh, and then the rumor, the Storm Seven rumor that we were talking about. Uh, I keep calling Storm Collectible Storm 7. I don't know why. He wants these two companies to link up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the Storm. The rumor is that Storm Collectibles is going to be making Street Charts figures. We need to talk that into existence. And, uh, I like, mean... The, like, I guess the rumor was Storm tweeted something s- Street Sharks related. I don't know how I feel about that. They're like... Dude, the Street Sharks figures, uh, they're like made out of this material. Like the way that they make, Storm makes their figures where they're kind of like... Uh, and I, I could kind of get behind that too. Yeah, okay. Oh, so you know what I mean. Where they're like, they're kind of soft like that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And yeah, I mean... I could see it. I could see it. I don't know if it would be for me, but I know the original Street Sharks toys are... Very popular, highly sought after. Oh, they're, it's like it's one of the best lines. They were they were so cool. We I, we should have put that microphone right there. It's like it's like between us and everything. But uh, <laughs> I could totally see people buying into this line. I wonder. Uh, I think I? I think it's going to be exciting. I think there's a lot of people that want to pay 125 dollars for a Street Sharks figure out there. They are really banking on this nostalgia out there. 
Oh, man. It's like, it's just pump it out there and see what the market will take at this point. I mean, we, how many how many Power Rangers lines do we have? Now, didn't they add in, like, something to kind of, like, try to add to the uh, rumor mill that they're making Street Sharks? Didn't they say something about it? Yeah, yeah, like, they tweeted something, and then they deleted it right after. Hmm. But, I don't know. It needs to happen. And then, uh, there's the Walmart Turbo Man figure. Okay, where did this come from? Like, this just came out of nowhere. Yeah, it's huge, too. It's a big figure. Have you Pretty seen it? I actually did get one. I have not seen it personally. I have not okay. seen it in the stores. Have yeah. You? Oh, no, I didn't see it yet, but I saw a picture of it in the cart, mm-hmm. and it looked really big. Yeah, but the, no way, no, who who wanted this? Everybody wants that. But, for Christmas. Was there, was there it's some a big, big hot thing? ticket item. It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't <laughs> make any sense. Why is Turbo Man on the shelf? Well, I mean. There's nothing to go along with it. There's no movie. Well, we got these raw ten figures at uh, Walmart. <laughs> they just make figures of anything as long as it's like a figure of something. Like, is it the you original put in the figure aisle. just repackaged as well? Like, is it a new mold? I need I need information. Yeah. I need to know who, what company is making this. Is it the same figure that we got back in the day? What What is going on here? Yeah. What's next? What's next? Just jump on the shelf from nowhere, huh? <laughs> Some yeah, it's like those Marvel Legends gonna start making it back to the shelves or something. Well, it's like well. those like little kid alien and predator toys. Have you seen those where they're like <laughs> they're like ten dollar price point? They should and... not be making alien and <laughs> predator figures for children. Well, that's like the that's the, back this in the day. Like super violent when <laughs> Alien first came out, and a, aliens like uh-huh. those were kids toys yes. back in the day. So that was Kenner back in the yeah, day. Yeah, like I remember. All right, you're not parents are like you can't go see this movie. It's like. But, but the toys. toys. <laughs> Whereas, like, the people that died would, you know, suddenly be alive again. I don't know. Uh, and then we got the new Gargoyles announcement. Oh. All right. NECA already had me at Goliath. So are you in for both sets? Are you in for the whole set of the Gargoyles? Which, Because you already got... Are you going to get the stone set, too? Nah. You're going to rebuy it with the stone? I don't need the stone. But when they showed off of the uh, Demona. Yeah. I'm that was like, a great commercial, by the way, huh? I'm like, that's oh. our guy. That's that's DGDX, the guy, same guy who does the uh, Marvel oh, yeah, Legends. Yeah, same guy. Um, so I was in for, for Goliath. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. But if you're making Demona, okay, go ahead and keep these coming. Give me all of them. Give me Brooklyn. Give me Hudson. Broadway, Bronx. Give, me, give them all. Give me, give me all of them. I'm, I'm. I need the Goliath, or it's like Xander in the Goliath mecha suit. Yeah, that one. That, I would I buy want that, that too. One. Voiced by Jonathan Franks. Hey. I would totally buy that. Yeah, Xanatos in his with snap-on armor. Because I mean, the Gargoyles figures back in the day were pretty awesome. They were. They were so cool, and the show was awesome. It went so short. Oh, I rewatched that show when Disney Plus came out. Like one of, that was one of the first things next to the X Men animated series. I was like, "Ooh, gargoyles!" Click. We watching this all the way through. So, oh wow, man! I was just thinking about thinking about that. I watched it all the way through. That's a lot of gargoyles figures, and I would buy. Yeah, I'm sure quite a few of them. Yeah, like I'm sure they're all coming. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down for a new gargoyles line. All right, you got anything else over there? Or okay. I believe I have. Oh, we got two more things, and then we're good. Good, I made it to my list. I'm All right. right, run the jewels. Super Seven. They said. They said these were coming. They said this. They announced I've been, this. I've been lied to. A while back, like yeah. I don't know how long it was. Yep. This was last year, I think. But. They they that was around when they announced the Power Rangers. We're coming out mm-hmm. and the Power Ranger stuff has been announced. They have the reaction ones, the big ones. So, yeah, I'm with you. Where are my jewel runner? We need those. I've started commenting in the help? Facebook Good. posts of Super Seven. Do that. 
Trying Dude, to bring it back. Where's my LP and Killer Mike? I would buy that. I mean, all you got to do is make those. I'll get them. I love Run the Jewels. One of my favorite groups. So, Yes. Absolutely. Bring it on. I, I don't know why you haven't already. Yeah. Uh, um, what's your one more thing? And then I was going to see if you... Have you seen the Cyber Frog Kickstarter? What the? No. Yeah, so there's Kickstarter. It's Indiegogo for um, Cyber Frog, and there's like four different figures and i don't know it's a cool character design oh uh ethan van Trivers. yeah 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 oh this campaign is closed it's closed already wait that was for a book hang on oh a cyber frog toy i guess is it a toy yeah yeah it's like a six seven inch figure oh first wave cyber frog figures yeah i see it wow this is an old series here yeah they have reached 50% of their goal with 29 days left, actually. Fully articulated Cyberfrog 112 scale figures. That was a wild comic, too. Yeah. And it's Indiegogo, so I get all four hundred and ninety five dollars I think that's because the one guy is a big figure, the Wasp. But you can get the uh, Cyberfrog, I think, is just 40 Yep, that is true. And I was looking at, I was like, I don't know, do I want the modern one or the classic one if I want to get it? Because it's kind of a cool figure. I don't know. So I was going to see what you think about it. Kind of poseable, yeah. And the the toes move. I see that. Yeah. So I don't know. hands and everything. It's an interesting Kickstarter here. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I see the modern one. You get Heather. Yeah, I mean, I I don't have any, I don't know what that character is, so I mean... But I mean, they look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, they look cool. He's got some good stretch goals here. Oh, what are the stretch goals? I didn't see those. It's just mostly accessories, and then you get this big Hornet action figure. Uh, mostly like different heads, different accessories. Mm. Heather gets two heads. Okay. So uh, for a hundred bucks, I mean two hundred, you get all four of them. Hmm. I kind of dig this actually. Yeah, cool, right? Like I that character is cool. Like he looks cool. So Yeah, I kind of dig this, man. I, I I don't know. I mean, estimated next year. Well, I've, I've kickstarted things that I, I the whole year. That is the one thing that kind of scares me cuz he's never made toys before. Cuz I think it's just the art of the guy just like I don't know what co- there's not like a company behind it. So I don't know. I'm like, I don't know what the quality will be like. and But they look oh. cool. I'm definitely interested. I might be watching this one. They might get some money out of me. Nice. And if it's Indiegogo, it's like they charge immediately for it. So. Mm. Uh, but I think they would... Uh, ooh, the, the hand... I don't like how the hand pegs look, though. Oh, really? Looking like looking kind of thin, but I do like this big wasp. I do. The big wasp, the visbiz or whatever, looks kind of. Cool. Uh huh. Um. So he's at how much does he need? He needs. He needs four hundred thousand for this, and he's only at two hundred so far. See, kickstarters and stuff like this—they really start to peter out. Mm. Uh, and he's got. When did this start? Just a couple days ago, I think. Okay. Like, it's not that long. Okay, so he just started. All right. So, no, well, good luck. I'm 50%. He's at the halfway mark. 873 backers. So, guys. Do they refund if it doesn't go? I think they re- Yeah, I'm pretty sure they refund. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Go ahead and check it out if you're interested in this. I'm, we'll see where they're at when we reconvene for the next Yeah, show. yeah, we'll see. And I may make a determination on that. Uh, <laughs> but which one do you think is cooler, modern or classic? Cyber Frog. Mm, one has like I the like belly. I, I like classic. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah, I'll go for classic. I like classic. Yeah. I could see I could see having both of them though. I kinda like the head sculpt on the modern one though, more than the the classic. But I like the big bug and I as a generic girl figure that you could throw in pretty much anywhere. It's a one scale one twelve scale figure. Mm-hmm. You could throw that in anywhere. Okay. I'm interested. Cool. Thank you for bringing this up. Yeah, yeah, that was my last, my last one. Okay, and then uh, I will go ahead and end with uh, one last. 
Uh, Hasbro, uh, Marvel Legends team, I, I've talked to you before, and I know I, I'd stopped, but I have not quit. I want my Stingray figure. I was wondering, because I hadn't seen any... Yeah, I, you know what? I was, giving them a, I, I was giving them an opportunity to correct themselves, but I can see I still need to badger them like a child. I mean, Hasbro. in a world where we have Frogman and Stiltman and... Where is Stingray? Yeah. Make it happen. The world needs to feel the sting. <laughs> so there, I will close out the show. And I'm going to start my campaign up again on Twitter and everything. I took a break. Mm-hmm. You know, personal reasons. Getting yeah. personal health and whatnot. So, But I want... I want my Stingray figure. And I will not rest until the world benefits from the presence of Stingray. I think we're done. I think that's pretty much it. All so, right. Guys, please go over and check out the new website, supercoolnerdshow.com, for daily updates in the world of nerd news, gaming, anime, stuff like that. I'm still working it out. We're, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much the only person writing so far. So <laughs> if you want to write for Super Cool Nerd Show, give me a chance. <laughs> but and then you can follow us on Instagram at Alternate Heads Podcast, Facebook.com slash Alternate Heads for all the toy news and stuff that we post over there. Uh, if you want to follow me personally, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Jason Nick. Sean, where can they find you, bud? Uh, Shantified. Shantified. Yep. Check out his photography, especially. He got to get some of that white box action on his new Batman figure. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's actually a good find, though. Seriously. People have been looking for that thing. You just found it on the shelf. Middle of the day, <laughs> the game stop. The sun was still out. <laughs> well, I'm happy that you took me. Yeah. So anyway, guys, that's it. We'll see you in two weeks. And as always, stop and smell the plastic. Catch you later. I've been saying all that, and I should have been playing the theme song. I don't know why I wasn't. <laughs> so, there we the go. Theme song. That's how I close out the show. I say stuff with the music playing. Yeah. yeah. So I'm making up for it right now. It's done. Oh, man. I need to find me a slug out here. Let's go. <laughs>